Hello, Dave Shrine here, and I wanted to take just a couple seconds to show you what I have been working on the last couple weeks. I've been wanting to get better at tracking how effective our incoming links are to our website, meaning whenever we're linking back to our website through any type of social media, any type of uh, email, any type of tra link coming back, tracking back to our website, mountainpark.org, how is it doing? How deep are the visitors going? Um, what type of uh, actions are they executing? What type of pages are they going to? And I haven't figured it all out just yet, uh, but with some help from a couple friends and a little bit of trial and error, I'll show you what I've been working on and what I've been able to discover. So on my screen right now, you'll see something that says Campaigns URL Builder. Now this is a tool that Google provides. And what you'll see is that it says, uh, fill in the form and click submit button to create URLs for custom campaigns for web tracking. This works uh, seamlessly with Google Analytics. What you do, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and walk through it. Uh, what you do is when you want to know how somebody is behaving on your website, you will go ahead and you'll create a custom campaign URL. So I'm going to go to my website, mountainpark.org. And I want to know this puck, this uh, story right here on one of our people named Rita Puckett. I want to know what are people doing when they arrive to this story? How long are they staying? Are they reading the whole story? Things like that. So I'm going to copy this link right here, the normal link, and I'm going to go to the URL builder. Now let me delete these fields that I already have entered. I go ahead and I paste the URL. And then down here, you fill in the content that is going to make up the URL um, source. So the, the code that actually tells you what people are doing. So right here, campaign source, campaign medium, and campaign name are the ones that I've been using. And in order to maintain a, uh, a consistent flow, um, I've been using a document that I created to track um, each type of link. So if I am creating a link that is going to be in our church app, the source is called mobile. The medium is called app, and the name is whatever the title page is. And I can, I, I've been actually doing just short versions of the title page, but essentially that's what it is. If I'm doing it from our church database, the source is my MPCC, the medium is form, because that's where we would be linking to from forms, and the name is form title. Social media, the source is social, the medium is post. The content is either a blog, a message, or an event, or if there's another type of post that I choose to link back to. So if, if I'm linking to a blog post, then I will use blog. If I'm linking to a message, then I will use message, so on and so forth. And then the name is, again, the page title. And then email. The source is MailChimp. And right now, I'm only using it for our all church email. So all church email equals all email. Now, I would add more if we're going to do uh, you know, student email. We would do stud email and then um, and then right here it would be use page title and so on and so forth so that's the little cheat sheet that I've been having and whenever I create in my current campaigns um, I actually create a little um, additional cheat sheet down here so if I continue to make the campaign I remember what I named it so read a story is this one what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back into the URL builder. I'm going to type the campaign source, which it's going to be um, it's going to be a social post. So we'll type social. Campaign medium is post. The content is blog, and the campaign name is the post title. And right down here, it's read a story. So what I do is I click submit and now Google creates a specific link that contains that information. So you'll see here source social medium post content blog campaign read a story. So what happens then is when I go to I copy this address and when I go into Facebook and I go to our Facebook page and I paste this link it creates a link just like normal right? then I can create whatever content I want to say check out this story uh, with good stuff from Rita and then I click post and so even though it says Mountain Park you see when I actually uh, I'm gonna go ahead and post it 
And when I hover over, you can notice down here that it gives that Google URM or UTM um, information, that campaign information. So the question then is why is this helpful? I'm going to delete this post because I actually posted it earlier today. So the question is why is this helpful? Well, it's helpful for a number of reasons. Um, I'm sure the least of which is you can then track that particular, uh, that particular link coming back. So I'm going to go to Google Analytics. If you're not using Google Analytics, you should be. Send me a text message and I'll send, or send me a tweet message and I'll, uh, I'll show you um, uh, how you can install that. But right here, we're going to go to Mountain Park. And then when I scroll down to acquisition, I can say campaigns. Now you'll notice that there's read a story and it shows me all of the acquisitions that have come from that link right there. 120 sessions, 47.5% of those sessions are theoretically people who have not been to our website before or possibly been to our website in a while. 57% there. Bounce rate, 82.5%. So that's not good. That means that 82.5% of the people who come in via this link leave immediately without going to any other pages. And that shows up here in the average page, average pages per session is 1.56. So not even two pages per session. 49 seconds is the average time that they're spending on the site. Now I could drive down deeper on this. I'm not going to for this video, but you can see that I have uh, several here that I've done and I'm tracking um, more and more information right here. You can click on it. Uh, you can add segmentation uh, so you can drill down even further and see what your users are doing. But essentially, this is um, essentially this is a way for you to see the individual effectiveness of what you're posting. Uh, I've talked in the past about tools like Bitly. I've talked about tools like Buffer, and those are great. But if you really want to drill down even further and see how a particular story is doing when it comes to engaging the rest of your website, this Google URL builder is going to be a huge help. If you have any questions, use the comment section below. Thanks so much and best tracking team.